We all know that our galaxy and the solar system are comprised of various stellar bodies. Now, it can be a real star or a hypothetical star. But some astral bodies are referred to as ominous. They have somehow disturbing as well as disrupting effects on our solar system. Whenever they show up in our solar system, they end up doing irreversible damage. The same goes for a hypothetical and companion star of the sun. This is Earthy Perks with a new episode to reveal the omen nature of this hypothetical star and support the debate for its solar system existence. With creating any curiosity, let's unveil the name of the hypothetical star. It's Nemesis. It was early 1984 when the star first made its appearance in papers. Two researchers, Dave Raup and Jack Sapkowski, came up with their studies linked to 26 to 28 million year extinction as per geological records. Nemesis, being a companion star of the Sun, when it enters the least distance limit between two binary stars, cosmic debris enters the solar system. It is the numerous Oort cloud comets. According to the definition, these are the shell of long period comets, what are spherical in geometry. When entering the inner solar system, i.e. Armada, the comets strike our planet Earth, resulting in the destruction of the ecosystem and causing the extinction of certain species on the planet. According to this figure, as Nemesis travels an orbital period of 26 million years, the Sun's distance will be 1.5 light years, the extinction period predicted for the extinction of dinosaurs. When the hypothetical star is 1.5 light years away from the Sun, then a viable gravitational bond between these two stellar entities is quite tricky. In this context, the stellar bodies residing between this distance would interfere and dislodge the Nemesis or change its orbit. No astronomer to date has witnessed Nemesis. They all consider it either a red or brown dwarf. Hence, it is thought to be faint. For proving its existence, Nemesis has to appear in the circumference of three light years. With this distance, it can then be viewed by Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. The device is meant to locate the brown dwarfs in a circumference of 10 light years. Nemesis, being a dark companion of the sun, showing up with signs of destruction and causing extinction, is considered a myth. The current extinction cycles of organisms from the Earth's ecosystem reveal no such star influence that can result in the phenomena. It is nearly impossible for the hypothetical star to exist with an extended orbit or to show up in the solar system. It should have a steady cycle for a star to exist, and the nemesis doesn't have one. Science helps create hypotheses, but need firm evidence to make explicit theories and support the phenomena. The same goes for this hypothetical star nemesis. Though it is present in papers, yet no appropriate proof is available for its existence. Let's see in the next 26 to 28 million year cycle if it again shows up and our planet faces another mass extinction. Only then, its existence and hypothesis would be proved. Show your space love. Earthy Perks and Clarnia bring up an exciting offer. As a subscriber, tune to Clarnia.com to approach the world's classy home decor canvas wall art prints and get a flat $30 discount on space wall art. Use code Earthy Perks to avail of the deal. This is Earthy Perks signing off. Till next time, Stay tuned and keep liking Earthy Perks.